Hey Pisces, welcome. This is your bonus read for mid-February, love reading, yeah? Um, this will be for Pisces, what do we need to know for Pisces mid-February? Uh, mid-February, Valentine's Day, love reading for Pisces. Hope everyone is doing well. Taking care of yourself, taking care of your heart, getting more sleep. What do we need to know about Pisces love? Love connections. Tell us more. Tell us more. All right, this is for Pisces and one rising in Venus and Jupiter. In love, you have the world. Six of Wands, Queen of Cups, that's you. Beautiful. Now gaining more um, stability, are we? At least emotionally, yeah? Let me see, Five of Wands. We have the Three of Swords and Justice. All right, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. Wow, <laughs> at the bottom of the deck here, we have the Ace of Wands. All right, Pisces, um, in your love connection, I do feel that um, there's been um, a closure of some sort. Um, you could have um, been in a love connection where you've worked things out, um, trying to move a connection from one stage to a higher level of, let's say, commitment. Yeah, I see a Pisces right here who is not um, just open for fun, but more so somebody who wants to have something concrete in, in their love engagements. Um, I do see that um, you tried all your best. In, in, in your connection, you've tried all your best to make things work. Um, you could have been in a connection where... You could have been in a connection where um, you were dealing with someone who initially, you know, it was just for fun. Getting to know it was fun, getting to know one another, possibly via text, via online dating. And um, initially, it was definitely for fun, I see. But along the way, once you started to get to know this person, you started to think, is there more to this? Can we move past the getting to know stage? Um, could this be a person that, you know, you can spend more than a year of your life with, somebody that can possibly be a partner in life, okay? And you've tried your best to work things out with this person. You even showed this person the rope on how to, or you probably geared your connection into something more to concretize it, if that's even a word, yeah? You've showed this person the way you nurture things. Um, if they needed help financially, I could see that um, you were open to help out. You made yourself available. You were pretty much receptive to what they want or what they need in, in their life. And um, for some of you, I do see that you help this person a lot in um, getting through the challenges in their life in several ways, yeah, small or big ways. It could be that you've helped them... Um, Ah, uh, yeah. So you've you probably have helped um, this person financially to start things off in their career, um, to give them, you know, show them the ropes of um, gaining more um, income streams. Even though Pisces, since it was the you started it off with getting to know face, even though at that at that point in time you were not even sure how this person feels about you. You know that they like you because they would show up, but at some point, um, there's that element of still not very clear or not getting the full story of it. The good part 
you know. But there are elements in this person's life that you definitely don't know. For some of you, this person could have painted you a picture that um, they're fun, they're charming. Yeah. And um, they can be fun when you when you want them to be to show up for the day for instance yeah but i feel that you on your on the other hand you try to help out to make things work i don't know it keeps on, on popping up it you, you made things work and you made um decisions in your power to bring balance bring justice to whatever circumstance that you are in with this person but the thing is there are things that uh, you are not really aware of of what's going on in there there are aspects in this person's life that you are not very familiar with yeah you could have you know you could even have different backgrounds in life and then when you meet up then you started to know that yeah uh, some people are living their life this way while you do it the, your way but at some point you tried to find balance you made um decisions as um, as and when you go um, in order to bring peace in order to bring balance into this connection and with a hope that at some point in time you'll get to a phase where you can be on the same page yeah you would get this person into mm -hmm, into a connection where they would be open to committing to you and not with any other options. That's um, the strongly feeling I get here. But on the process, that did not happen. And you kept on having conflicts with this person. It could be verbal conflict or it could even be the way they become consistent to you. At first, uh, there was consistency because everything was fun. And then as things become more clear, you start to ask questions. You want to know more then um conflict has arised yeah and with that i feel you got tired yeah you walked away not that you walked away um fully but rather you want to avoid further conflict with this person even if you don't want to you might have pulled back because at some point the level of secrecy, the level of you not knowing the full facts of what this person brings into your connection hurt you, made you feel betrayed. For some of you, you even felt that this person may have other options. Yeah? Because all you want from this person, Pisces, is that um, you want them to show you that they are into you. And only you. I mean, there are other good-natured, um, good-looking people out there, but then in a connection, you would want to be with someone who is into you. But I feel that um, this person may also have been in... Yeah, so this person at some point in the past... You may have felt this, Pisces, because you're very intuitive here. You may have walked away emotionally because you know that at some point, this person may also have been connecting with someone else. And um, that explains the reason why they are not putting more effort into this connection for you or with you. And you've gotten clarity about that. You've gotten clarity about that um, phase or cycle that you've had together. Even though, you know, I feel that this person may have slowly departed or may have slowly moved away from you. They stop, the consistency is no longer there. They may even message you, but it's not um, as consistent as they were before. And, well, that gave you that closure that you need, yeah? You knew then that if the person is no longer invest, investing their time, effort, and resources towards you, and they could be investing it somewhere else. I feel that you are connecting also with someone who would keep on telling you that they don't know what they they don't know what they want, 
they are lost, etc. Yada, yada, yada. Okay? And then um, with that closure, I feel that you focused on your stability here. You decided to sit on your throne <laughs> and work towards things that are productive for you. Yeah. Sometimes uh, in the wee hours of the night, I feel that you could even be thinking of calling this person out, wanting to be sweet and dandy with this person. Um, you think about them, you fantasize about the times you've shared. It's more like you dreaming yeah, of the good times that has been shared here. But not losing the focus that um, the important thing right now, after you've gotten your own closure about the past cycle, is that yourself. What is important is, um, at least on your side right now, what is important is that you take care of your throne. Yeah, Not in a very sassy way, but more so, you know, you, are, you have the capability and the capacity to, to be stable on your own. And there you are. You're sitting on it, thinking of the things that could give you more comfort in life, focusing on what works. At times, um, this could even be you focusing at work, um, business, other passion in life, other things that um, gives you some um, beneficial returns, yeah, or income, or, or whatever, whatever benefit you would wish to have in your life. Um, well, on the other hand, on the romantic sense, you feel like you this may not even be working out the way you expected it, and it cannot be denied that you miss this person every now and then and um, you th sometimes you dream about this person and also you dream about making an offer towards them yeah or you dream about how much you love them but i don't see you making a, some sort of action towards them for now let's see oh wow <laughs> i i think i said early yeah um for now um Pisces, wow, look at that. So we have the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands, clarifying the Six of Wands. So now I feel that you are on your power. You're operating on your power. The past is past. You have gotten your closure. And then now you are looking out forward. You're moving forward with strength. It could be difficult. It could be um, difficult um, moving forward on your own without this person, especially if you love this person so much. If somebody hurt you in the past, that means they had an impact in your life. It could be due to love. You love them, but they did not meet up your... I don't want to say expectations, but they did not meet uh, your standard, perhaps, yeah? Standard of um, being a partner in a connection. They did not deliver. Mm-hmm. But here now, you are more focused on what works, again, like I said. And um, I feel that you are, most uh, of you are open to face new stuff, to face new challenges, passionate challenges. Although at the back of your mind, you still have this connection, you still have that knowing that you still love this person but um i can see that you are very fiery here to start something new again this could be about love this could be about business but now you're looking forward to to new things to better um circumstances and in, in relationships taking the initiative even to start something new, new business, new work. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're much driven right now with passion, Pisces, which is really good. With regards to your person, though, <laughs> there's um, a lot of things that <laughs> they are doing, <laughs> but mainly focused on mental gymnastics. Mental gymnastics, because I see that your person is also tired of what has happened in the past. I'm not sure whether they have gotten clarity of everything that has happened, because the way I see here is um, you have a person who is um, not really honest. You are dealing with someone 
who could even be living a double life, someone who tried to show up and um, to show up and be with you, but at the same time, you don't really know their intention. You don't really know whether will they be ready to be with you in the long haul. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things in, in this person's mind that are happening. They are always thinking, stuck up in their head. Hopefully that is for good reasons. But um, the way I see here is that, um, let's see. There are some truths that um, this person is sharing with you, but not all. They only give you, let's say, 5% of what you actually need to know in order to make the relationship work. And how would that work then? Ah. All right. So the person that you're dealing with, Pisces, in the past that you have gotten closure, that you have turned your back somehow right now, this person is um, communicating with someone new. This person is um, having a new beginning in love. They have someone new. That could be the reason why they are not pursuing you now. This person is someone new, definitely. And they're pretty happy. Yeah. They started off with um, communicating. Um, I think this could be somebody they... This is somebody that they met. Um, somebody who is pretty creative. Um, probably a musician. Uh more cre doing creative endeavors or yoga instructor you know and things like that in that area I feel that um, or they may even know this person from performing arts mm -hmm. and they started off getting to know one another and I think they are starting to like one another too and for some of you I'm not sure but it feels like they are building a rather stable family um, or maybe having a kid. I'm not sure if this is planned because it's, it looks pretty new. But I feel, yeah. Wow, what a revelation. This is somebody that is um, starting something off here. But this person never gave you clarity. Um, some point they also think about you. But I feel Pisces that for you, this person wants to get together actually. I don't know for what reason because they already like someone. I mean they already have someone else right now, someone new. I feel that there is some guilt here. They they're feeling guilty for leaving you behind. For leaving someone behind, for leaving someone who is independent, supportive and um open towards them, who stood strong in times of their weaknesses or in times of them feeling weak. And I feel that this is you. They're feeling guilty for leaving you behind. Um given that they got support from you and not and for not being totally honest with you mm -hmm. so there's guilt there and at some point this person is actually thinking about um <laughs> you're connecting with someone who is also a dreamer somebody who dreams of things too and sometimes in their dreams, this person is thinking, how can I give justice to Pisces? How can I reciprocate for all the things that they have done, that this Pisces has done for me? Mm -hmm. This could be someone too who had some form of addiction, who smokes or, or drinks, and I think it's more of smoking. Ah, uh, yeah, smoking or drinking. And um, when they are after those sessions that they have, at the end of it, they will start to think about you mm -hmm. and ending up not knowing what to do, as usual. I feel this is the person who would tell you always, I don't know what to do, things like that. 
So for now, you would see that um, I could see Pisces that you are holding back your emotions right now. You are standing in your power, starting new endeavors in your life. But at the part, uh, the back of your mind, you still have this person. Yeah, you're still thinking about them, but you're not really fully invested anymore because you have new, better things coming towards you, and. You holding back your emotions is, is actually a good thing. It gives uh, net that necessary break for this connection and that, um, and also a chance for both of you to think, is this connection really for you? This is also a chance for that person to think, is this connection I have with Pisces really for for us, you know? And um, because decision has not been made yet for this person. This could be somebody they are starting to get to know and they're pretty happy with it. For some, I, I, I said they could have some kids because I, I see that in the card. Or this could just be them, if you're connecting with a masculine, somebody who is connecting with a woman who, who already has a kid in the prior relationship or something. But they're connecting with someone who, for some, who may not even be single. So your person can even be the third party right here. So this necessary break you have with this person right now, Pisces, is good. Because this gives a chance to think for you and for them to see whether, how can you further this connection? The, the King of Pentacles, somebody who thinks, is this connection still beneficial for both of you? If it is, how are you going to nurture it? How, gonna, how are you going to make it work? Mm -hmm. Because the way I see here for now, there is still a decision that is um, impending here. Yeah, And that decision is... Are we still starting a new love together? Are we still starting this off? So this could very well be somebody that um, they are connecting on a casual basis, but they're you know they're pretty happy with where they are at right now. They're not telling you about it, but there's guilt here. I feel, and this person is still thinking how can they restore balance with you? How can they reciprocate? At the bottom of the deck, we have the strength. So this is for you, Pisces. I know life is, with this reading, I can feel that life is pretty hard, pretty difficult, especially with your dealings with this person. But this is very telling that inner strength is what you need right now. That is your best uh, partner in where, whatever state you are in right now in life. Because with that inner strength, that could give you um, that new beginning. Yeah? That new beginning where you can be more passionate again whether it be romantic whether it be business or career inner strength is what you need strength also could talk about when you miss this person think about them spend time thinking but not dwell yeah and continue to remind yourself that there is the throne that you need to sit on to maintain your stability in life yeah with or without this person but here there is an impending decision that needs to be made here. Are you going to be starting this new love? Okay, so this is um, what I have for you in the mid-February um, reading. Hope this gives you insights of your current connection. And um, as always, I wish you well. Bye now.